Before we get started in the video, if you like this shirt, go to twalkthehawkgear.com. Use G-R-E-J-S-M-O at checkout and get 15% off. Let's get into the video. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, G-R-A-J-S-M-O. And, uh, listen, man, it's getting close to that time for me to get a new phone. So, I have the Samsung Galaxy S8. And I actually have two of them completely paid off. So I was thinking about getting the next new Samsung phone. I'm already in the ecosystem. I like it. I use Samsung Pay everywhere. So, since the... Note 7, right? And they had to do a recall. They gave me the S7 and not the S7 Edge. So let's take it all back, okay? I had the S7 Edge, right? Then came the Note 7, and I got that. Then when, I, when they took back the Note 7, I had to get the S7, the basic one. And for a while, I was like, eh, okay, it's smaller. And I just got used to it. So then I got the S8. And I just got used to it. I didn't get the S8 Plus, you know. Um, when the S9 came out, I didn't upgrade. To me, it wasn't enough of an upgrade. Uh, but now the S10 is out. And the S10 is enough of an upgrade from the S8. So one thing I was thinking about was getting the S10e. Right? The E stands for essentials. Everybody calls it the peasant phone or they don't know what the E stands for, economy version, or whatever they want to say. It stands for the essential. So, with the E, you get basically everything that you get with the S10 and the S10 Plus. It just has a smaller screen, a smaller battery, and I think less cameras. So, on the back of the S10, I believe it has three cameras, and on the front of the S10 Plus, it has two cameras. Now, the S10e only has one camera on the front and two cameras on the back. But there's an ultra wide camera, uh, there's a wide angle camera, there is the front facing camera, which can do 4K at 60 frames a second. Which, I mean, let's be honest, the uh, camera I'm filming on now, which is the uh, Canon Rebel T6, uh, it blows that one away. So I was thinking about getting that phone and getting back into making my YouTube videos right off of a phone. But then it hit me. That's $750. That was the price of the base S8 or the base S9 or you know the, the base level S device was always $750-ish. And then the plus was always like eight something. And I started to think to myself, like, do I really care that much about a phone? Um, I love tech. Don't get me wrong. But $1,000 at my age, my stage in the game, I got a family, I got, you know, things to take care of. I work a regular job, and I would like to have the latest and greatest, but do I really need it? I've noticed that lately I've only been playing Angry Birds. Uh, I'll do a couple of... Um, you know, like the little where the spaceship is just shooting out stuff and it's hitting, you know, things, do, 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 you know, those kind of games. Uh, I haven't really been doing like PUBG or um, Fortnite style games. Uh, I watch a couple of YouTube videos, but then I do a lot of podcast, uh, you know, listening. And you don't really need to have that great of a phone to do those kind of things. Then I thought about, well, what about photography? What about video? I do like doing this stuff. You know, it's fun to me. Uh, it's like I have my own TV network. This is my channel. This is my world. This is me. I like it. You know, I'm a star on my own show. And to be able to do that in 4K with a better quality, something I can hold in my pocket, I can shoot it, edit it, and upload it all from one device will be awesome. But you miss out on a lot of the intricate things, you know, lighting and, and uh, you know, having your studio set up the right way. You can do all that with the phone, but sometimes you want to show things on the phone and you need another camera. So I'm like, should I just go buy another camera or buy a new phone? And initially I was going to get the new phone because I thought I could get the earbuds with it. Now, 
every now and again I'll go to the gym, I try to work out, you know, trying to, you know, get the weight under control and build a little muscle, you know, the basic stuff. And the Galaxy Buds seem like the perfect fit. I thought about getting a Gear Icon X, but I've been hearing some, you know, not so pleasant stories about them. Uh, but the Galaxy Buds sound a lot nicer. I've got this little cheap, uh, you know, thirty dollar, you know, fitness tracker from Amazon, and I kind of want to get the Samsung one. Um, and I just want everything to be all in one cohesive unit. However, with budget in mind, it makes me think thirty dollar fitness tracker. I really don't do a lot of running. Um, maybe uh, some different earbuds that probably have a better battery life, like the Raycons. Um, you know, and then maybe a new camera such as the SL2, which is a little bit lighter, has a flip out screen, I can actually take it places and see what I'm doing. Those kind of things, uh, you know, really appeal to me. Now, let's think about it. $750 for the phone. Another $120 or $150 for the buds. Versus 600 actually, let me, let me pull that back because I already have lenses. Uh, 500 for a new camera body. Then the Raycons, which is about another 150, 200 bucks. Uh, so we're looking at about 700 bucks. And then uh, I'd have a new camera. Uh, I'd have the buds, and then maybe another. I think it's like 150, almost 200 dollars for you know the Samsung smartwatch that would still work with my current Samsung device. Not that bad of an idea. Or even go with the Fitbit, which is only about 130, 150-ish, depending on which one you get. So that option, as opposed to getting a whole new phone, uh, which kind of can encompass everything all in one, but as many of you know, when you start bundling things together, they don't work as well as the ones that are individually designed to do a specific task. So, what do you guys think? Should I go for a new camera and kind of get individual pieces that do different things? Or spend about the same amount of money and just get one device that does all those other things fairly decent? Let me know in the comment section down below. This is your boy G-R-A-J-S-M. Oh, and I'm a... Yo, I ain't going front, you know what I'm saying? Nigga living. It's about time. Shit is going my way, you know what I mean? There ain't nothing like it. Yeah. There ain't nothing like paying the bills on time. Enough dough left to know that we still gonna shine. But it's never enough. So